we are taking part in what is nationally known as Seafarers Awareness Week. And so uh, we've joined up with Seafarers UK, which is a, a large maritime charity. We're a sort of small charity uh, to make sure that we commemorate the day. Uh, we've got a home full of former seafarers. I'm one myself. Uh, and we like to take part in these things. It's a good excuse for having a cup of tea and a cake. We've gathered everyone together um, in the main lounge. We, we like to invite the local school children in. It's always good to have children around when you have older people um, and residents. We've had some trustees in and we invited the Deputy Lord Lieutenant, sorry, Mrs. Susan Lochner to come along and, and, um, and, and help us to celebrate the day. Uh, everyone loves a party, but uh, and just because you're old and you're in a wheelchair doesn't mean to say you don't like a party. Um, and so it's always nice. Music is good for people living with dementia or, or with uh, a condition that means they're restricted in mobility. So um, it's always good to have music, and this was an ideal way of celebrating. Smile, smile. Thank you. And I get asked every year to try and do, you know, local charities, and I'm always happy to do it, but filming schedule, you know, most of the time doesn't allow me to do it. But for some reason, the whole, certainly this year, what with the, you know, the celebration of D-Day landings and all that, I, I, I wasn't involved in that, and because I, I couldn't be. And, and when I got an email from a lovely lady called Georgia, saying, you know, there's a Seafarers Association literally on my doorstep, I was aware of it, but I had no idea how big it was. And, and what a big part of, the community it is. I mean, I literally live a couple of minutes up the road. So I, I just wanted to make time just to show my face and say, listen, you know, just because I'm the bloke off the telly, I, you know, I am thinking about you. Mm. And I think what they do is great. And meeting some of the residents here has been incredible. And it's lovely hearing some of the stories and, and some of the carers here. You know, I've got to give credit because they're here day in, day, day out. Within the dementia unit, one of our big focuses is on music and the residents respond very, all residents respond well to music, but it really helps with people suffering with dementia. Um, they're able to recall the old time songs, it lightens their mood, the whole atmosphere on the unit is different if there is music playing, and in particular live, when we have live music concerts. Um, we try and assist them to take part in daily activities and that could be a walk or laying a table or helping make a bed but anything that would be normal for usual people that carry out in their, in their day to day living. Next year we celebrate 150 and we'll have one or two events there uh, and, and our job since it started has been to look after former seafarers principally Merchant Navy at the start uh, but now it's all seafarers, fishermen, Royal Navy, uh, Royal Marines, Merchant Navy, the lot, and their widows and dependents. Um, and we have a 68-bed nursing care home and 23 sheltered flats, all on this 14 acres of lovely Surrey countryside. Um, 95 staff, uh, a very good and uh, full staff of carers and nursing uh, staff to look after all their needs. Today's been very, very busy, uh, but it's been lovely. The weather's been very, very kind to us. The residents have enjoyed it. They always love to see the children. The children were fantastic. Uh, the songs they sang were really, really, really very nice. And if we'd been able to increase the awareness for seafarers at all, then we would have done our job.